Let's take a look at how we could create a thermal imaging effect, something like this within Affinity Photo. What I'm gonna do is just go in and delete all this stuff so we can start from scratch. I'm going into my stock tab. I've typed in portrait and flash photography and I'm gonna drag this image, should look familiar. Photo by Timothy Dykes, very nice for him to provide us this free stock footage to work with. So we're using flash photography because we want light that's directly in line with the camera. So light coming from the camera, you could see it's shining right onto her forehead with this hot spot and then falling off. And this is gonna give us the best look because if we had a light coming from the side, it would look like the, uh, the side of her face would be warm and then the other side would be cold and that would just look weird. So we gotta find good photography to work with. And uh, this one will work. The, the glasses and the shadow from them is gonna be a little bit of a factor, but you should get the general idea. So the thing we're gonna do next is go to layers, I'll click on my adjustments, go to gradient map. And uh, if this is the type of look you're going for, that's fine, but we can do a little bit different um, lighting effect or thermal imaging effect if we change the colors. So I'm gonna take this one, and this one I'm gonna start off with black, and then I'm gonna go this one here, I'm gonna make this a uh, purplish, darker color here. And then I think I'll go with a sort of a brighter magenta and maybe spacing these out so it's a little smoother. Next, I think red will work. So go with red and then we could do a yellow or orange. Let's just go to a yellow here, like a bright, bright yellow. And then the last one we'll adjust is this one here and just make that white, that should do it. And then you could adjust these to your liking if you want to um, slide these for more or less contrast and uh, you know just get these to something that works for you. So once we got that, we're, we're pretty much done. The, the next part would be just kind of a cleanup, an a intermediate layer. So what I'm gonna do is create an in-between layer. So select this layer, hit this new layer icon here. And now, I got black and white and I clicked on my black and I've got my brush selected here. And I just wanna paint in just around the, the background because the background should be cooler. And also I'm at 26% opacity so that I don't just go overboard right away and I can make the opacity higher if I needed to make this darker quicker. But this is um, separating the character from the background. I could do something similar on the hair to get rid of some of these highlights. The thermal imaging effect is, is taking shape. Now, we might wanna do something like on, on the bottom of our neck where it's a shadow from the photo. If we turn this off here, it's a shadow here, but when we turn on our gradient map to get our thermal imaging effect, it looks like a cool area. So if I flip these colors and now I'm, I'm painting with white and I'll make my brush a little bit smaller here. I can start to paint in this area and bring this color up. And uh, I could do the same thing. Like if you want the eyes to have a, a look like they're warmer, we could just paint white on here to bring that up. Same thing with the lips. And if you're at, as you're doing this, if it starts to look kind of weird, you could always soften the effect by selecting this in-between layer and going to filters, let's do a blur and a Gaussian blur and maybe start with the low radius and then bring this up. And you could see if it looks kind of rough, we could just blur this out to, to get a, a softer look and hit apply. So that's how we create a thermal imaging effect.